Greetings! My name is Leslie Wall and I am an author of Catholic Fiction for Teens. I was thrilled to be asked to talk a bit about the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm certainly no theologian, but the third part of the Trinity is a topic I find quite fascinating. I don't know about you, but when I contemplate the Holy Spirit, the apostles come to mind. Several years back, I was really struck with the startling difference between Jesus' followers before and after the descent of the Holy Spirit. These men who had traveled and studied with Christ for years were left in utter chaos after his death. They were scared and confused and even hiding out in the upper room, not knowing what to do. Then they received the Holy Spirit and suddenly became bold, strong leaders who changed the world with the message Christ instructed them to deliver. Although it was possible, although it is possible that when we think about the disciples' incredible transformation, we might feel a little overwhelmed or even disheartened because we're told that we have that same Holy Spirit within us. And I don't know about you, but most days I relate more to those fearful pre-Holy Spirit apostles than the fearless men who gave their lives to share Christ's message. But the truth is that as baptized and confirmed members of the church, the Holy Spirit does dwell within us and provides the guiding light for our lives. So when you have those moments of self-doubt, take a moment to remind yourself that while we are filled with the same power and grace as the great martyrs of the church, we have been called to very different missions by Christ. Those early followers were commissioned to share a completely foreign concept about God to a people who found the revolutionary message contrary to their beliefs and all that they had ever known. There may be some in our community that have the same calling today to travel to the far reaches of the planet, but most of us are not led to that kind of life. In fact, we are alive at, during a time when Christian values, while not necessarily embraced by society, are already known. While our mission may look a little different than the apostles, we are still called by Christ to use our gifts and talents to further the kingdom. So how do we do that? There are several ways. As a parent, we can faithfully take our children to church and teach the faith. As friends, we can enlighten others by sharing about our beliefs. We can become prayer warriors for those around us. We can separate ourselves from worldly aspects that are harmful, such as TV shows, music, gossip, social media sites. And we can help those who are in need. We each have different gifts and talents, and we must take time to discern how the Holy Spirit is calling us to those gifts. For instance, as an author, I feel a calling to share about the Catholic faith through my writing. So I incorporate faith themes into my stories. And in my personal life, I truly believe the Holy Spirit guides my days in small ways. It's that inner voice that nudges me to do something. It's that feeling I get that I should reach out and offer a kind word to someone. It's the sudden thought of a friend who I haven't spoken to in a long while. While I have a long way to go, I have been trying to be more attuned to those messages and to act on them. Now, all those examples might not seem like much, but our actions and our words can make a huge difference for someone who is struggling or doubting their faith. We can offer encouragement or friendship when they are facing a difficult situation. We can let them know they are not alone and that God is the one who can get them through anything. With the Holy Spirit's prompting, we could be that little spark that leads someone to Christ. Thank you so much for letting me share about my thoughts on the Holy Spirit. May God bless you as you discover where he is leading you.